Hello my family members, if you have watched all the on-campus coding questions in this channel, then you can conclude that questions are repeated every day. You can say how? Okay, let me clear it. Actually, logic behind the questions are same. If you see the logic behind chocolate distribution code, team formation, cool string, equal string codes, then it will be more clear that all the questions are about combinations of two string, counting, distinct values, etc. related. Today again we will see one coding question which was asked on 30th August on campus drive that is also fully same with 29th code in logic. Right. So without any delay, let's proceed to the questions. The question is about who is the winner. So Elections are conducted in a town that has population N. All the people of the town cast votes in the various candidates in town. The people of the town they realized that the votes of only for the candidates 18 and above years of age should be considered. Find out the candidate who is the winner. If only the votes of age group 18 and above are considered. If the winner cannot be decided or there is a tie, print minus 1. You are given an array vote which represents the candidate to whom the vote is given by ith and another array of age which represents the age of that particular voter. So the input format should be, uh, it should be, it, it should contain three lines. The first line will contain only one value n, the size of the arrays and the second line will contain n space separated positive integers denoting the array of the vote and the third line will contain n space separated positive integers denoting the array of age and uh, the output format is given like print the number which represents the winner if the winner cannot be decided or there is a tie print minus one okay let's look at the sample input that is uh, this 10 is number of population and this is the list of vote and this is the list of age right and how is this to come i am explaining let's let's at first count the vote the, can, the candidate one gets one two three four votes and candidate two gets one two three votes candidate three gets one two votes candidate four gets only one vote and among them this candidate corresponding to this this candidate corresponding to this and 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 this candidate corresponding to this right so they are actually below the age group 18 so they will be removed so now if we count again the total number of votes then the number of votes one get is uh two because this will be removed and this will be removed right so number uh, the candidate one gets only two votes and if we if we again count then we will see that the candidate 2 gets 3 vote so he will be the winner because he gets the most vote right so in the next input as well if you see that this is the number of population and the second line is the vote list and the third line is the age list right all the candidates uh, the voters are actually below the age group 18 so the output is minus 1 right so I hope you have got the logic right. Okay, let's go to solve the problem. This will be easier to you, right? I would request you to please pause the video and try to solve the problem by yourself, right? If if not possible, then come to watch. And I would request you to please watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus coding questions that was also important for you. So the link will be given in the description box. Please visit that, right? Okay, let's solve the problem. Let me write the code, then I will discuss the code, right? So def find winner. So at first takes two list that is votes and ages, right? Then take a dictionary that is vote count is equal to empty dictionary, right? For I in range length of votes if ages i greater than 
equal to 18 then check if votes i in vote count sorry vote count if so then vote count votes i plus is equal to 1 and if not then vote count votes i only equal to 1 right ok initialize max votes is equal to minus 1 at first then winner is equal to also minus 1 and tie is equal to as of now false then run a for loop for fetching the values in the dictionary candidate comma count in vote count right vote count dictionary dot items if count greater than max votes then max votes sorry is equal to vote uh, is equal to count right and winner will be the candidate and tie will be false right Elif check Elif count is equal to is equal to max votes. If so, then tie should be true. And now check if tie is true, then return minus one, and if not, then return the winner right okay now read the input this will be okay and execute the code right so number of population is this right input and the ages or the votes group the votes list is list map int input dot split we should have to take the input as space separated right let me copy that because we will take another list same right okay now result or winner is equal to find winner calling the function and the arguments are votes and ages right and print the winner i hope this code is okay so let me execute the code so that it can be proved so the first input is the number of population and then one space one space two space 3 space 4 space 1 space 2 space 2 space 3 space 1 right so this was the these were the votes and the age group is sorry 24 13 35 15 50 16 20 18 and 25 64 okay let's look at that the output is what we should have right and let's run the second input as well so population vote and then age so the output minus one and it should be minus one right okay let me explain the code i hope you have got uh, the logic behind that just a little explanation needed right so at first find dictionary function takes two arguments that is votes and ages list 
the votes is the list of votes for each candidate and the ages is the list of the voters age and vote count is an empty dictionary which is uh, keep tracking the count of votes for each candidate and this is iterating through all the votes and checking if age i that means the age, um, voters age is greater than or equal to 18 if so then check if this exists in the vote count dictionary if so then uh, the vote count of that particular vote uh, candidates should be is plus is equal to 1 that means incremented by 1 if not then vote count should be initialized as is equal to 1 for that particular candidate after processing all the votes it initializes variables max votes and uh, max votes is equal to minus 1 which is actually to track the maximum vote count and the winner is equal to minus 1 it is to store the current winning candidate and the tie is equal to initialized as false and to, it is to check if there is any tie or not right so now it uh, it iterates through the vote count dictionary for each candidate it checks if their vote count is greater than the current max votes if so then update the values of max votes is equal to count right and then winner should be the candidate it uh, it is uh, current currently right now right and it is updating in every loop right and it is checking if a count is equal to is equal to max votes if this same then there should be a tie and after the for loop after uh, the all iteration of for loop it to check if tie is true then return minus one if not then return the winner and we are checking the we are taking the input and executing the code so if you love the session and want more such videos then please subscribe and be with us thank you